We need you to come with us to the station. Hang on, you can't force him to go. Yeah, we can. Brian Lamb, I'm arrested on suspicion of murder. What? You don't have to say anything, but you may have a job. defense if you what? do not mention. Wait, hey, question. You've got it wrong, look. I haven't done anything. Court. No, you anything you do say may be given in evidence. Will you just stop? Just stop a second! I don't actually think he did it. I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, God. Please! You're making a mistake. Look, I haven't killed anyone! Oh. Thank you. Ryan, what's going on? They think I murdered Mark. Just take him through and go. That's ridiculous. No, no, no don't, don't worry, OK? Uh, can I speak to him? Please? Interview with Brian Lamb at Hotton Police Station. Time, 15.55. Officers present, DS Nick Henschel and... DC Laura Pryor. I've already told her everything I know. Not quite. You've been very selective with the facts, haven't you? Hey? Remind us where you were the night Daniel Lamb was killed. Matt Wilde to you. Daddy to him. This time around, we want the truth. So, you find out he's your dad, you punch him in the street, bang. What'd you do for an encore? Sat in my car. Katie's been very cooperative. Where did Matt come from? I went for a walk. I've already told her this. No, you didn't mention that. You were on home farm state, weren't you? Yeah, I suppose so. I had a lot on my mind. Yeah, well, I'd be confused if I'd spent the afternoon getting down dirty with my sister. It wasn't like that. She was in your bedroom. What were you doing? Playing charades. Happy families. <laughs> That's fine. Can you stick to accepted procedure, please? I didn't sleep with Maisie, all right? Yeah, it went for the one I tried. Oh, you must have been angry when you found out you were related. Angry enough to kill? No! You wanted revenge, didn't you? You went looking for your dad more to the point you found. I didn't do it! Then how do you explain that? Now showing Ryan Lamb photograph of a gold chain, item in H1. Do you recognise it? You should do. There must be thousands of chains like that. But only this one was at the scene of the murder. Well, mine's at home. You can search my house if you don't believe me. We're doing it already. I didn't give you permission. Uh, did your dad give you permission to shoot him dead? Will you stop saying that? You were there. Yeah, but this is under your nose. It's not mine. The DNA on this chain matches yours. What? Why'd you kill your dad, Ryan? What was your chain doing at the scene of your dad's murder? I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. I'll tell you what the truth is. You lost control. No. You discovered the man you thought had had an affair with your mother was in actual fact your dad. Your supposed dead dad. And also the father of the girl showing your bed. How many more times do I have to tell you I didn't sleep with her? You're angry. You wanted to confront him. You tried to beat him up in the village, but he got away. So you followed him into the woods. No. You had an argument. You shot him. No! You're here to ask questions, not give your opinions. Fair enough. Maybe we've been uh, hard on him. Could have been a mum and a madness. Who could blame him? In his position. But then there is the gun. Yeah. The gun you used to shoot the defenseless man. And then you panicked, didn't you? Buried the body. Along with your broken chain. This is nonsense. Okay, I've worn that chain loads of times since that night. Now. Apart from anything else, where did I get a gun from? That is what we're waiting for you to tell us. It's your chain, it's got your DNA on it, and it places you at the scene of the crime. You're not helping yourself, Ryan. How long can they keep me here? For as long as it takes for you to stop messing us about. PC Tomlinson has entered the room. I told you everything I can. What's going on? What are they whispering about? You don't have to answer any more questions. Right. 
Do you hunt? What? Do you belong to a club? Have access to guns? No, of course I don't. You sure about that? What is this? We found gunpowder on clothes taken from your house. What? What are the chances, eh? There's no way that you found gunpowder. The clothes have been sent for testing. Where'd it come from? I, th I don't know. I've never held a gun in my life. You need to start being honest with us. Look, I'm not a murderer. Like, look at me, I don't even kill spiders. Not even Daddy Longlegs. What? Daddy's dead and all the evidence points to you. Where's the shotgun, Ryan? I, I don't know what you're talking about. We're gonna find it. Oh, I've had enough of this. Where is it? Either charge me or let me go. You don't make the rules. We can hold you for 24 hours. Longer if need be. Yeah, you think about that. You're going nowhere. Interview with Ryan Lamb suspended. It's 1756. Well, here we are again. They've been looking after you? We like to provide a bit of comfort for our long-term residents. All right. Okay, we're not here to enjoy ourselves. We found a shotgun. At the garage where you work. No, I'm sorry, I'm not having that. Sit sorry. down, Mr. Lamb. Okay, well, I want a proper lawyer. No offence, mate. Nonsense. You're just making this up as you're going along. What are we making up, Ryan? That your chain was found yards away from your dead dad. <laughs> that there's evidence of gunpowder on your clothes. That the shotgun that we strongly suspect was used to kill your dad was found buried at your place of work. Are you telling us that these are all figments of our imagination? I didn't do it. Now look, the gun is with forensics. Before long, we'll know if the gunpowder residue on your top matches the weapon. Wish to be honest, we know already. Isn't it time you started cooperating? I'm telling you the truth. Oh. You're wasting our time and I'm getting sick of it. Okay, why would I bury a gun at my place of work? It doesn't make any sense. Well, killing your dad does. I'm being set up, it's the only explanation. Apart from the obvious one, that you're guilty. We know it was you, Ryan. Right, fine, well I'm not answering any more questions then. Come on, tell us. My client has the right to remain silent. Fair enough. It's nearly half past eight, and I haven't had my tea yet. Interview with Ryan Lamb, terminated at 2016. Fish and chips. Your tray? Isn't it always? Yeah. I don't know what else I can tell you. I've told you everything I can. I don't know how any of that stuff got there. Please listen to me. Look, I'm being set up, please. Yeah. I'm in. Sweet well. Shall we skip the games? I'm sure you're aware how limited your time is. I'm sure you're aware how easily I can get an extension. Don Holmes, useless to. Hi. Mummy's decided he needed the best. Oh. Uh, most expensive. I didn't do it, man. You've got to believe me. Okay, you've got to stay calm. We'll go through everything. Should we make a start? I've been set up. Yeah, of course, yeah. There's this guy, Nathan, and he's my brother. He hates me. I mean, he really hates me. It's the only thing that makes sense. Ready? No. It's got to be him. Interview with Ryan Lamb. Sorry, but my client has the right to speak to me in private before we begin. I assume you want to? Yeah. Fine. Thank you. You could make this easier. And a lot cheaper. What part of this don't you understand? Nathan is my landlord. He can get into my house whenever he wants. You know what I really love about my job? The power trip. Sometimes. It's so easy. You're chained by the grave? Yeah, because he put it there. He had gunshot residue on your clothes, what did he? Put that there too? Do you want to see the report? I don't know how he did it, okay, but it's all down to him. In case you were wondering, 
it was an exact match for the residue on the gun. Of course it was. Why wouldn't it be? It's hardly conclusive. A bit of a coincidence for somebody who claims they'd never fired a gun. You know what? I, I've had enough of this. You know what? So have I. Charge him. What? You can't! You've got it wrong! Tell him! Tell him! It was Nathan! Brian, let me look with me, please. 